Here in the Aubrey's castle, Lena had leaned upon Grim and waited, longing for the powers of Goddess to prevail. The day before them, Mrs. Maloney had found a book in her room and carried it away, declaring sharply that it would not do for servants to read at night. Had a girl, only eleven years old, living away from Mama and never having any time to play, live entirely deprived of Grim. Lena's home was in Texas, away up among the mountains on the P- Peter Nails River, in a little town called Freder- Fredericksburg. They were all Germans in Fredericksburg, very thrifty people. The thriftiest was Peter Hildesmuller, Lena's father. And that is why Lena was working in the hotel at the quarries. She earned three dollars every week, and Peter added her wages to his well-guarded savings. Lena raised the li- Lena raised the lid of an old case and got out a sheet of paper and a bit of pencil. She would write the letter to Mama. Tommy Ryan was going to post it for her at Ballinger's. T- Tommy worked worked in the quarries and went back to Ballinger's home every night. He was now standing under Lena Lena's window, waiting for her to throw down the letter. That was the only way she could send a letter to Fred- Fredericksburg. Mrs. Maloney did not like her to write letters.